Hey everyone, I'm working on fixing the ends of an Ethernet cable. Um, this should work for you if you are just wanting to make your own um, or replace an end that broke, like mine, um, or the end starts to get flat like that and no longer has its springiness and can just fall out of your router. Um, what we've got, I did a little research to figure out what I needed. Um, if you go get this for yourself, I would recommend getting uh, the Cat5e. E just stands for enhanced. Um, for most projects, that's just what you're going to need. You can get a big spool of this if you want. It is fairly inexpensive. The tips that you will need are RJ45. And you also need to get a uh, crimping tool like this. The single blade by itself is how you cut the cord. This rounded section right there is how you can remove the sheathing on the outside, these guys, and you'll expose the wire. I have this one fanned out in the order that you will need uh, to get this all hooked up. There are two ways you can hook this up, either option A or B. I chose to do option A after doing some reading online. I found that I guess government agencies use this method, so hey, if the government uses it, it's good enough for me. The order is as follows. You do white green, green, white orange, blue, white blue, orange, white brown, and brown. And you can see here, I have them fanned out in that order. What you want to do, get them all tight together like so. You can kind of massage the wires, just make sure the order stays in perfect positioning and order. And then measure out roughly how long you need it to be. And then you can see that there are those channels. Each one of those wires will slip in after cutting them. I'm going to set this down for a quick second and cut that. So you're going to gauge how long you need it to be. You want to include a little bit of that blue sheathing in there too. And you will be left with some sharp points, just like so. Um, and that's a little blurry. I'm trying to zoom in here. Anyways, just keep it nice and tight. And it's a little daunting at first. First one or two might seem kind of clunky and weird. as far as getting those to slide in. But you want to make sure that you get just a little bit of that sheathing in there. And then you just take your crimping tool, place that in the appropriate slot, push it in real firm, and just squeeze down. And we are good to go. Everything is nice and firm. Wires are lined up exactly. How you need them to be um, but the trick of it was just finding out supplies first um, so again rj45 for the cat 5 e cord and then i used that specific method t568a and there is let's see if i can get it there we go there is the proper order so hopefully that helps you out thanks for watching